very welcome back to the show. Are you looking for something fun to do with the family for the long weekend? Well, if so, we have it all covered with a mix of activities and free events across the country. We have Jill Holtz, and she has her top five picks as mm. part of our Oomph Life Cover Family Activities series. Great to have welcome you. Welcome back, Jill. Hi. We are off to photo. Yeah, so starting, obviously, everybody knows Photo Wildlife Park, but I'm wondering mm. how many people have actually been to Photo House and mm. Gardens, and mm. it's really family friendly. So, um, obviously, you can go and do the house tour and kind of see behind the scenes. And what I thought was nice is you can see the bedrooms in a Victorian nursery and then go down to the servants' quarters. But oh, they've got good. a Look specific it's beautiful, isn't it? tour for kids called Where's Mrs. Kevin's Cat? So, Mrs. Oh. Kevin's the housekeeper, and you have to find and follow clues around and and see where the cat is. So it's kind of interactive for the kids you, as it, well. There, it has to be something, because I remember going to another house like this when we were a lot younger, and we were basically given the history. And you're like this as a 10-year-old going, Bored, oh, yeah, my I know, God. I know. <laughs> The ceilings are very high, and that was about it. So it's mm. great that so it these places the are kids. doing a good job. And then you can go out into the Victorian gardens I saw if you kids like. Are planting. You can do a digging for history and plant, and take the plant home with you as well. I so didn't realise because I go to photo a lot, and I love it, of course, mm -hmm. because the wildlife park is fantastic for young mm -hmm. children, and the hotel yeah. is lovely. But I haven't been to that part. Seriously, yeah, so you're so right. It's just you can next overlook. door. Car park's right by Photo Wildlife Park, and, and cool. you go in, and um, as I say, very child friendly. They have a yeah. cafe there mm -hmm. as well. Oh, and lovely. For the weekend. Weekend. It's supposed to be nice. Yes, I know. We just I don't hold our breath. We don't put the mockers on it. Peak at the weather forecast, and it is supposed to be nice. It's supposed to be weekend. nice. Yeah, and it's a nice time to go as well. Say, if you're going, it'll probably be a lot busier during the summer as well, July yeah. and August. So yeah, now it might be a nice time to go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, River Fest. Um, so, River, or just before I leave the photo house, so it's 29 euros to do the house tour and the garden, and 14 if you just want to do the garden stuff with the planting. 29 for? Uh, two adults and three kids. Oh, okay. great. That's good yeah. for a family. That's half a day, yeah. I suppose, yeah. Jill. Oh, yeah. You'd be there uh, yeah, for half you the would, day. Yeah. And, if you still, and then if, you, if they're still not tired, bring them to the animal place. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and exactly. The off. wildlife park next yeah. door. Yeah. 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 So, um, so next, moving to Limerick, yeah. uh, totally free event uh, is for the bank holiday weekend. It's River Fest. Limerick 2018 and that's running from Friday to Monday music family fun great food and so just a flavor of what's going to be on and um, they've bring in this New Zealand daredevil ride called the sea breacher shark which kind of dives out the water and in and out so that's really? gonna be amazing to watch yep and see absolutely across the river and yeah all that they've got a double zip line set up at the Limerick Strand Hotel so you can go and zip, zip line, line wow. across the water and then at Arthur's Key Park they've got what's called the River Festival Village, street performers, carousel, food workshops, all so sorts of things. It's a full-on kind of festival. Yeah. You know, it's a beautiful of part of Limerick as well, down on the river, on the river yeah. channel. It's just it all the gorgeous. advantage of the water, yeah. isn't it? I'm glad to see they're using it properly there. Yeah, and then yeah. they have a barbecue competition on Saturday, so you can go and see and pick up barbecue tips a and barbecue taste competition. and stuff. competition. You can do water absorbing, kayaking, and then on the Sunday they have the Bon Secours Great Limerick run, and at night time they have fireworks over the water, all free. Um, just you pay for the water activities like the kayaking and that. Okay. So I'd love to see that barbecue competition. Yeah. What is no. that? I was, at, I, I, was at one, yeah, I was at one in America a few years ago, and basically yeah. you just, there are all these different people with all different and they do their own different flavors things, and, and they things do their own too. flavors and spices oh, wow. and everything. Yeah. It's that sweet and nice. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah it should okay. be good fun. So moving to Wicklow now, um, I've picked out Rossborough House in Parklands, which probably isn't as well known as, say, Powers Court. Um, but mm -hmm. starting with the house itself, you, if you've got an, a, a, an interest in history and art, they were bringing back a whole load of paintings that have never been there for hundreds of years, mm -hmm. so you can go see them. But really outdoors, they've got this fairy walk, so you pick up the brochure and go round. They have a maze, which I'm told can take you between 20 minutes and two hours to complete. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, it's not a very big maze. I was there last year. Yeah. It's not very big, but you, you know, for kids for get kids. lost. Forget it, like, seriously, yeah. Yeah. You just... But how big is the maze, then? It's not that is big, it kind it's of... like here. It's, it's, it's not massive. It's a beach hedge, so it's above, yeah. Oh, it's tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. for us, it's tall. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you get kids, really definitely. lost in there. Yeah, and then they have a playground and picnic area, so there's plenty to do indoors and out. I think they're doing it up, aren't they? They are, and then they've got the Bird of Prey Centre on site as well, so if you want to do... Is that that far outside Dublin? No, it's not. It's about half an hour or something, is it? A little bit more, maybe. Maybe, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so Rossborough House there. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you can buy tickets for the house and the gardens, or you can just do the gardens. Um, and that's for two adults and four kids. Yeah, I think and they're bringing kids. I think you need to do the garden part of it, don't you? I think so. Oh, yeah, it gets like, you have to, like, you can't bring kids around the house for, no, for, for no. half the day. 
And I think even if you're having the lunch, yeah, you have to go yeah, wild yeah, first. yeah, leave them out, like yeah, yeah. You yeah. tire them out. Yeah, that's that's what, that's what we're into these. <laughs> tire them, out, tire out, them out, 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 out under the fresh air. <laughs> we might even bring them down to Kilkenny. Oh yes, so uh, Kilkenny. So I just think this is a fantastic place, the Castle Comer Discovery Park, and it's basically got woodlands activities for all ages, from small to large. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. Playground, they've ropes, obstacle courses, treetop walk. Apparently, they've got Ireland's longest zip line there if you're into that I'd climbing wall play, would you? Yeah. pedal yeah. boats uh, canoeing yeah. and um, as if that's not enough they also have an elf and fairy village that you can go and visit an actual village with fairies and things elves and fairies we'll and talking walking about fairies trails. later on the show as well uh, yeah, traditional no, sense may, though. may 1st isn't it yeah right, so yeah. and a canopy yeah. cafe so lots there to do what, can um, i ask you about the fairy place I mean, for little kids now, do they have people dressed up like fairies? Um, it's more little houses and things at the moment, but at Christmas time, for example, they do a big event where you can okay. go in and meet. But can the kids run things. into the little houses they and can stuff now? They can go well, in and out good. of things. And then they're doing a special thing during May, which is trying to get families together outdoors doing activities. Good so idea, yeah, it is. I like that now. Mm. They've got yeah. bug hunts on the 5th of May. Bug hunts? Bug. Bug, insect, no, bug hunts, no, oh, my bug. accent. Bug, oh, bug, bug, insects. I said, I said, there's <laughs> said no the, bugs the accent. Kenny. The accent. <laughs> so you get little bug <laughs> viewers and they're going to show you about insects and they're doing raft building and all mm. sorts of events there. So there's the zip in there no more. I'd love to. I'd I push you. Cool. I'd give, <laughs> give you a good old push down there now. I'd be scared to fall off. I'd be, I'd be afraid we'd stop halfway. No, I don't think you can. No, I don't Do think you? So Jill, no, back to you, Jill. Jill. No, yeah, look, I probably yeah, won't. No. So the good thing about <laughs> Castle Jill's Comer, ignore it, I'm ignoring it. So it's, <laughs> you can go and visit the Elfin Fairy Village for free. It's oh, really? four euros for parking, but then you can pay per activity. I'd like to um, go there now and tick that tick yeah, there now for the weekend. It's five euros for the bug hunts, mm. the bog hunts, okay. the bug hunts. So, um, but the bog hunts, the, the bog, bog hunts. Yeah. Okay, the bog. Strad yeah. Valley Woodland Railway. Oh, this I just think this is really cool. So it's the Strad Valley Woodland Railway. Is that a county? Leash. Leash, so it? it operates out of the grounds where electric picnic takes place oh. basically it's the oldest established heritage railway and the one that's been running steam trains since 1969 how far does it go um it goes one kilometer round, so it takes about 10 minutes to ride the track oh, and they've two railway days on the maybank called sunday and monday and you can go and uh, have a, you know, it's suitable for all ages, mm. have a bit of fun. They even might take you in and show you the engine shed if you're oh, interested lovely. in trains. So. Jill, yeah. this sounds great. We've got yeah. news for people at home as well, yeah. Jill, don't we, about yeah. this? We have a family pass then, um, so you get to choose between the Sunday or the Monday, mm. and you can take a train ride there. In Stradbally, we have a family Stradbally pass Stradbally for that. Woodland yeah. Railway, yep. That's on our good. Facebook page. Yeah. All the information's on our Facebook. I, never, I didn't even know this existed. It yep. looks really it's cool. all run by a volunteers. So if you're interested in steam trains and you want to help out, they're looking for volunteers as well. Okay, so I, did two, I ticked two things yeah, there now, Diane. Yeah, I go to Castle Comer as well, I think. <laughs> I'll definitely go to Limerick as well. The Riverfest sounds okay, really, so really let's cool. let's not go to the same place. Yeah. We're Different looking at each other all week. Yeah five, yeah, five days a week. Totally. Jill, thank you so much. Thank you, Enjoy Jill. the weekend. Yeah, thank and remember, you. tickets uh, for that lovely steam train, you can win them on our Facebook page, RT Today.